Hello Leo and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First of all, I'd like to thank you for all of you who have seen my previous videos, like them, share them and especially if you subscribe. If not, there's still time for it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, I'd like to give you a big welcome. I'm very glad you found me and I hope that this reading will help you. Today we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the months of July, August and September from pretty much all areas of your life, whether it's love, or relationship or money, career, finance. But as usual, this is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest. So let's get started. I do like to start with the central card, which in your case is the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is is a card that indicates that you are uh, going through a sad period of your life. You're grieving, you're regretting something, you're looking at everything, whatever's been negative in your life. Uh, and, and that's been kind of holding you back. Um, if you really look at it, he is looking at all those empty cups uh, in front of him and and being sad about them, not realizing the two full cups and the golden tree that's right behind him. So what this really means that there's something in your life um, that you are regretting, something that you are not over, something that's holding you back from discovering new opportunities that can be ahead of you, that can be very promising. So what uh, that can be that maybe you lost a job or lost a business or your relationship went sour and uh, you're really focusing on the negativities of whatever happened to you as opposed to trying to see that not everything is lost, there's still hope, there's something else you can do, something that you're going to discover and we're going to give you uh, way more happiness than whatever you lost. But let's see the other cards. Your reading starts with the Ace of Wands. The Eight of Ace of Wands is an amazing card that indicates some kind of a new spark, a new beginning, uh, a very fiery energy that ignites things. So um, what this means, this new chapter can be quite a lot of things. If you are here for relationship, this can be indicate a new relationship coming into your life. <clears throat> but it also can be a sign of your existing relationship, getting a new spark and 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 and, and starting a new uh, period. Um, again, this is a very fiery energy, something that has a lot of potential to explode, something uh, that's very passionate. It can be an idea, it can be a new job, an opportunity, something that uh, can ignite that creative spark uh, and and become something way bigger than what it is now. Uh, again, it can be a, a start of a relationship, some some kind of a great opportunity that makes you excited. Again, this is a very fiery, sexy energy as well. So maybe you're enjoying meeting people, you're enjoying getting to know people, you're enjoying the ideas uh, that are coming into your life. The next card we have here is the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is all about working hard, working in a team. Uh, it's a card of mastery, uh, perfectionism. So maybe uh, this spark, this new idea comes into your life and you're gonna be uh, really working hard in a team to create something. But what I, what I think it's really important that you're holding your idea back to this opportunity. So I think whatever your fears, whatever your regrets are, might be holding you back to actually make this opportunity as good as it can be. Again, this can be a relationship as well. Uh, maybe you're working uh, well with your partner uh, to um, fix previous issues. Uh, but again, if you end up focusing on everything that was negative, everything that was bad, that might hold you back to achieve the potential, whatever this spark might have. And then you do have the Devil card here. Uh, the Devil is is this um, behavior, person, 
uh, some something toxic, something negative that's hold you back. So so this can kind of feel. This is a feeling when you are uh, you when you don't see the way out of the situation when you are really entrapped. Again, this is a, this is a card of addiction. This is a card of uh, dependency. So there's something that you are make, making you dependent on something. It might be uh, a relationship that you are too dependent on each other. Um, it can also, if you're single, it can also mean that uh, you might have sex without love. Um, in uh, the work environment, it can be a toxic person, a toxic boss, uh, somebody that's holding you back to achieve your full potential. Again, it can be also you self-sabotaging yourself. You need to kind of evaluate what is the devil in your life. What is the devil that's holding you uh, back? And it's very interesting for me that the first row is a lot of it has a lot of fiery energy. If you look at this, has the spark. This has the fire in the back, and the devil has the fire all around him. So I think. The, it just indicates something very passionate, something very energetic. The next we have here, it's a little bit cooler, uh, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords uh, is the card of, like every knight, it's the card of action. And generally the Knight of Swords indicates some kind of a change, a big change, a huge change uh, that you've been waiting for. Uh, again, this change is something that's it's a very fast moving card. Sometimes it's going against uh, all the odds and, and against the flow. Um, and, and that can be uh, the challenge of, of uh, the Knight of Swords that he can just focusing on too much on getting things done. Um, but again, it's a very chatty, it's a very um, talkative, uh, very uh, energetic. Uh, adventurous uh, type of energy. Maybe somebody with this energy is coming into your life, but again, it can be a sign of a big change. And this big change can be really anything. If you're in, if you're single, it might bring a, a, a new uh, relationship it, into your life. If you're already in a relationship, it might uh, um, make the relationship deeper engagement but it can also be a sign that uh, the partner is looking outside of the relationship but again in terms of uh, it's, it's a change it's a change that you've been wanting so to so think about what is the change that you've been wanting because usually the knight of swords brings it to you and it's faster than uh, you might think and if you're talking about speed you have here the Eight of Wands, which is the card of speed. It is the card of travel. It is the card of messages, action, uh, something that really uh, gets fast in your life. So I think whatever opportunity comes in, uh, whether, whether it's a love, whether it's a, a, a work opportunity, it's going to speed up. It can also be a sign of a new love because it, it, it signifies the arrows of Cupid. Uh, so for some of you, some of you, you might be really taken off of your feet. But again, it's very important that you're not focusing on uh, the negative. But let's see what's going to be the final outcome. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe because that's an indication that this uh, reading has resonated with you. And it also helps me to uh, grow the channel uh, to make sure that the message gets out to more and more people and for you that's just a push of a button but i'm very happy to read in the comment section what's happening in your life if you're happy to share so the next is the nine of wands the nine of wands is uh, the card that indicates that you've been going through a lot you've been going through a lot of battles and this battle can be anything it can be a battle on the at the work, battle in the relationship, um, internal battles as well. And, and it tells you, it, this card shows you that you are exhausted, you are, you are done, you are ready to give up and you are ready to throw in the towel. Uh, but the Knight of, uh, of Wands, the wounded soldier is somebody who's been 
through this before. So whatever you're going through is nothing new for you. You know how to get this done uh, and the card is always telling you to keep going. So uh, maybe you're exhausted at work um, but you have the ability to push through. Maybe uh, you are exhausted in your relationship uh, or if you're single you are tired of going on dates. Uh, whatever it it is exhausting you you need to keep doing what you're doing and push through because you are close to your success. And when we talk about success, there's nothing better than the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is the card that brings into our life a change, a big change that is beneficial for us. So um, this is a card that shows that the universe is co-creating with you to make your life better. Uh, whatever that uh, really means for you, it can be a new job, a new opportunity that knocks on your door. If you're in a relationship, it might be that your relationship, if it's a good relationship, turns better and you're going to get engaged, married. But if you're in a bad relationship, you might need to give that relationship up in order to uh, let something new, something more positive in your life. This is the same when it comes to work. It can be a, an opportunity, a new job, a promotion, a new business opportunity. Uh, but if you are in a toxic work environment, probably you should look for something new uh, because the Wheel of Fortune is always tells you that it's time for a change and the universe is working with you. The last card we have here is the Hangman. The hangman is uh, the card that shows you that maybe uh, you are feeling that your life has been um, stuck in certain areas. Maybe your career, career is uh, stuck, maybe your business, your relationship. There's something where you don't feel that things are going as you would like it. And what the hanging man is really telling you that you should look at things from a different perspective right you need to look on the other side and see what else is out there the hangman is giving up all of everything he has his legs his uh, arms his possessions to gain clarity and you're trying to gain clarity here uh, which again i think you're gonna get it because you do have uh, the wheel of fortune uh, and, and a lot of positive cards but I think as the center uh, of the reading says that your focus on the negative might be holding you back and that might be your devil uh, and then what you have here in the bottom of, of the deck is the Hierophant which just tells you that you need to trust you need to believe that things are gonna get better uh, so, Leo, that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading uh, was helpful to you, and I'll see you again.